Hey everybody, it's Jonathan with The Ring of Fire in Westchester County. I bid you welcome to another video post. This segment, we are going to focus on the Lynx Sedona Grill, a grill that in the past I sold it here and there, but never really got too deep with it. But this year, man, we're selling the heck out of it. And uh, I've been asked a few questions from uh, customers. So I said, why don't we take some of these questions and put it out there, answer them, put it out there in the universe and help people. So here we go. So um, people will ask me, uh, well, what's the difference between the Sedona and the professional, aside from the fact that it costs half the price? Um, yeah, I mean, it's obviously not the same grill as a Lynx professional. It's de featured to a certain extent. Um, but let's talk about what those features are, the differences, and then you can make a decision, see which way you want to roll with them. Um, if they make they make the grills in um, identical sizes, they start at 30, they go to 36, 42. That's where the Sedona ends, and then Lynx Professional goes up to 54. Um, the Sedona, actually, I would argue the Sedona offers you more versatility in its setups because you can get a Sedona as a grill head for an outdoor kitchen. You can get it on a cart. Or what you can do is, we had a situation recently where somebody wanted the 42 inch grill. There were no freestanding models, meaning carded models available. But what we were able to do is buy a 42 inch Sedona grill head and marry it with the 42 inch cart. So you could separate them, which is another good thing that if you want, you have an idea to, to build an outdoor kitchen, maybe in a number of years, but you that's not a project that's gonna happen soon. So you could buy the Sedona grill on the cart separately. And then when it is time for that outdoor kitchen, you could pop the grill head off, off, off the cart and put it into your future outdoor kitchen. You cannot do that with Lynx Professional. Those, they are on those freestanding carts and they're not moving. I'm not coming off of them. Um, the, uh, what I talked about versatility or flexibility with the Sedona is that it comes in various um, uh, styles. So for example, you can buy one with the rotisserie and with three normal burners. Um, you can buy one with the rotisserie and two normal burners and one sear burner, or you can buy them without the rotisserie. And that's something that speaks to people because there's there are quite a number of folks and I totally disagree with them. I tell this to them when they come in, but it goes on deaf ears, I guess. There are folks who just don't care to have the rotisserie burner in the grill. Uh, so Lynx, well, you, they have that model. They have it in a 36, they have it in a 42. You don't want a rotisserie, it's not there. You just focus on your burners in the burn box. All these other professional grills, everything, the Alfresco, the Lynx Pro, the Viking, they all are gonna offer Artisan, Coyote, et cetera, et cetera, Coyote S series. Um, they're all going to have the uh, the rotisserie burner in the back, the infrared rotisserie burner. You don't need it with the Lynx uh, Sedona. So that's a benefit for some people. Now, the burners are very different, okay? Lynx Professional has got that Trident burner, and they will tell you that their best grill on the Pro, uh, the Pro Series is going to be the all Trident burner grill, okay? The um, uh, ATR, whatever it's called, all Tridents across the deck. I think it's the most flexible burner. It goes from 200 degrees up to 900. You can sear on it. You can cook normally on it, grill normally. Um, cleanup is very easy because the infrared heat incinerates everything. Um, the infrared burner on the Sedona is not a Trident. It is a, um, I forgot what the nickname and the name that they've made for it, but it's like a normal infrared burner, infrared sear burner. Um, the Lynx Professional burners are the ceramic burners. We tackled those in the video uh, comparing Lynx to Viking. So those are unique. Nobody else in the business does this. The burner is fully ceramic. It's not like a metal burner with a ceramic casing around it. It is a ceramic burner. Will hold and diffuse heat very evenly. Could also crack though. But um, the the Sedona burners are very interesting. They I've been told that they are 18 SR burners, okay? And this is a direct quote from Middleby. They are the same burners that the Alfresco uses. Well, the Alfresco is 18 SR. That means 18 SR scale resistant. That means those things hold up 
They don't blister, they don't corrode under the high heat. The alfresco burners have titanium in them as well as the stainless steel. Now, when I asked Lynx, are they 18 SR burners? I kept being told they're 18 burners, 18 gauge, 18, the same as the alfresco. Well, they're not the same as the alfresco because the alfresco burner is 28.5 BTUs. The Lynx uh, Sedona is 23, okay? So, but the fact is, is that if they are in fact 18 SR, they're gonna hold up really well. So though the grill may be looked upon as a defeatured Lynx, those burners are pretty kick-ass. And if you're gonna compare them to anything else in its price category, okay, those burners are likely going to be um, considered elite compared to the other ones. Um, but here is a difference, okay, which we need to discuss. The stainless steel is different. The Lynx Professional is going to use three or four grade stainless steel, which most of your premium major appliances use. The, um, the Sedona does not. The Sedona, I believe it uses uh, two, 206. So what is the difference? The 304 stainless steel is um, sturdier, um, which actually works against it because the 204 stainless is more malleable in terms of uh, molding it. But um, the 304 stainless steel is going to have more chromium and I believe nickel in it. So that is going to give it a better performance when it, when it comes to holding up to the elements. Um, it's not going to pit um, as quickly. It's not going to start to corrode, um, crack, et cetera, et cetera. So the, the, the stainless on the Pro is definitely better. Now, being that the Sedona is using this 200 grade steel, which should be fine. However, I would not recommend it if you are like on the Jersey Shore and you are direct ocean facing down there because um, the Jersey Shore has like the highest degree of salinity on the Eastern seaboard and like more so than Long Island, more so than Long Island Sound in Connecticut or Westchester, very high degree of salinity that will beat the living you know what out of that grill over time unless you know, you're it's constantly covered and you're um, you know you're cleaning the exterior um, maybe you put that ceramic coating on it that's uh, um, available from some manufacturers um, as a third party um, service. But personally, if I had a house on the Jersey Shore, I would not go with the Sedona for that reason. I would definitely go with the Lynx Pro because of the stainless. Other than that, anybody else, you're probably you're not going to see any performance or issue in terms of longevity with the 200 grade steel versus the 304. So what did we cover? The steel, we covered the burners, we covered um, the different setups that the, that the Sedona offers you. Um, the fact that they both have the same grill sizes except for the 54, which is only in the, the land of the, the Lynx Professional. Um, you know, listen, they both are offering that 10% uh, rebate. You got to make up your mind. Think about it. You know, a 42-inch Lynx Professional is $84.99. A 42-inch uh, Lynx Sedona is, um, you know, 44 and change, right? That's, it's pretty much half the price. So uh, the warranties are the same. It's not like if you get the, this came up in a conversation. Well, if I get the Lynx, if I get the Sedona, Am I going to get a guy coming out to the house still to fix it? Or is that only for the Lynx Professional customers? No, nonsense. It's the same warranty, right? So you're going to get the text to the house to fix it um, if there's any issues. So it's not like you are um, like the bastard stepchild if you buy Sedona compared to the service level that the professional customers are going to get. Nonsense. So those are really the main differences between them. Again, focus on the steel focus on the burners, focus on the price. Um, uh, I mean, I really haven't had any complaints about these grills. Um, they are, I mean, the Lynx is regarded as, it's got the best name out there in terms of uh, premium outdoor cooking. It, it's the premium brand, everybody knows it. And I think that Sedona, again, a brand that I never really, you know, it's not that I didn't support it. I just, for some reason, or maybe we were just so busy knocking out alfrescos and DCSs all over the place. 
I never gave it the love that I think it deserved. I'm having a wonderful time selling it this year. I love the fact that it's built in the States and I love the warranty behind it. So, um, you know, if the Lynx Professional price tag is not in your budget, definitely consider the Sedona. If there are any questions, please hit me up. Questions at rofgrills.com and I'll be happy to answer them. If I don't have the answers, I'll get them. Thank you very much.